solidarity. We all know why we're here today. We're here to send a strong message, not just to Monsanto, but to Syngenta, DuPont, Bayer, and all of the corporations who are controlling our food system. Food First has been watching this for over 40 years. We know where this is going, and we know how to stop it. We stop it with social movements. We stop it with direct action. We stop it by breaking laws which are unfair, unjust. But let's have a little quiz. Now, let's see if you can answer these simple questions. What company between 1929 and 1971 released over 60,000 pounds of PCBs into the atmosphere, dumped 2 million pounds into streams, and left 68 million pounds of contaminants in an open pit in the heart of the African-American community of Anniston, Alabama, poisoning its 18,000 inhabitants? Monsanto! Correct! What company produced 12 million gallons of Agent Orange that the U.S. military used to destroy over 10% of the land in South Vietnam, poisoning over 3 million Vietnamese farmers and 40,000 U.S. soldiers? Monsanto! Who gave us recombinant bovine growth hormone? Monsanto! Who wrote the patent law on life in 1980 and uses Pinkerton detectives as GMO police to enforce this? and has extorted $23 million in lawsuits from 400 farmers in 27 states. Monsanto! Whose products produce the Roundup-resistant superweeds now invading over 10 million acres in the U.S. alone and is now preparing 2,4-D resistance seed for the market? We could go on and on. Who has tried to destroy the academic reputations of professors Ignacio Chabella, Arpad Putsai, Chip Taylor, Eric Sardini, and any other scientists whose findings they don't like? Who, after 20 years of producing GMOs, has not produced one single grain? That has, so, that has fed one single hungry person on the face of the earth and made record profits in 2008 during the food crisis when a billion people were going hungry. That's right. They've been poisoning our bodies. They've been poisoning our food supply for over a hundred years. I don't know if you knew that. They've been around for a hundred years. So there's a saying in Spanish. No hay mal que dure cien años ni por lo que lo aguante. Yeah, you heard that. This t-shirt is for my brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico. Monsanto has plantations in Puerto Rico. That's where they grow the seed on the off season. The seed that supplies uh, their, 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 their operations for the rest of the year. They break the laws in Puerto Rico, the agrarian laws. You're only supposed to have 500 acres. They have thousands of acres. And they're growing the seed to poison the planet in Puerto Rico. So today in Puerto Rico, our hermanos y hermanas in Puerto Rico are also having a rally against Monsanto. When I said, no hay mal que dure 100 años, ni pueblo con la it means... There's no evil that will last a hundred years, nor people who will put up with it. And I think that the key here is the people. The people can't put up with this anymore. And I want to leave with one comparison. The last time this country permitted infinite generational ownership, that's what Monsanto has. They have infinite generational ownership over their genetic material. That means if you plant the seed and it grows, they own that product. You have to pay them. And if you plant that seed and it grows, they own that product and you have to pay them. Infinite generational ownership. Last time we had that, it was an institution in this country and it was called slavery. Now, I don't want to compare the enslavement of human beings with what's happening today with seeds. Because the brutality and inhumanity of enslaving human beings to rob their labor power is not the same. Nonetheless, what we know is that Monsanto 
just like the slave owners, will stop at nothing in order to accumulate profits. And it's only the people who are going to be able to stop Monsanto, just as it was the people who stopped slavery. And we're on our way. It's time for the people to put an end to this madness. And the good news is, it's already begun. Let's resume our quiz. Who led a successful seven-year struggle in Anniston, Alabama, for the victims of PCB poisoning that resulted in a $700 million settlement? The people! Who stopped the introduction of PTM eggplant in India? Who stopped GE wheat? Who cheered when 500 acres of GMOs were burned down to the ground by the government of Hungary? The Who are we?